Hi everyone! Today we're going to be reading Caterpillar Dreams by Clive McFarland. Now, if you didn't know this, today is April 1st. Um, we are in a new month that spring will be coming to our area. So as you read this book, I want you to think about all the different signs of spring you see in the story and then signs of spring you see in your own community as well. Right, let's read. Henry has a dream. He wants to fly. His whole life, he wanted to see the world outside his garden. Night and day, Henry dreams of going on amazing, incredible, and possible seeming adventures. If you didn't notice, Henry is this yellow caterpillar. But Henry is just a little caterpillar. And how is a little caterpillar ever going to see all that the world has to offer? His friends don't want Henry to leave the garden. It's safe here, says Snail. It's where your friends are, Worm tells him. Seriously, Henry, an adventure? Sounds exhausting, Slug says with a sigh. You can see all of his outdoor friends here, the snail and the slug and the worm. Only Toad understands. Here's the thing with dreams, Henry. If you don't chase them, they always get away. Henry is determined not to let his dreams get away. Hi, bird. I want to go on an amazing, incredible, impossible saving adventure. Will you take me? I'm waiting for my eggs to hatch, but I can help you get over the wall, says bird. Perfect, says Henry. I wonder what kind of wall this could be. If it's a fence in someone's yard, or if it's a part of a building, I'm not sure. But on the other side of the wall is a busy road. Hi, Mole. I'm going on an adventure. Incredible, impossible seeming adventure. Can you help me? Asked Henry. I can't go on an adventure today. I need to finish my tunnel under the road, Mole mumbles. That's okay. I'll help him, says Henry. Now this is a cool illustration. You can see the mole and Henry the caterpillar digging underground. So I notice that there's soil and different types of rocks. And then here is the ground line. But on the other side of the road is a big, big lake. Hello, fish. I'm going on an adventure. Incredible, impossible seeming adventure. Want to come along? Oh, I could never leave my lake, but I'm happy to help you cross. Awesome, says Henry. Henry flew over a wall, burrowed under a road, and crossed a lake, but still his adventure had barely even begun. Then, far ahead, Henry sees something he's never seen before, a giant balloon. This is where my amazing, incredible, impossible seeming adventure will begin. Henry just knows it. If he could get to the top of the balloon, Henry will be able to see the whole wide world. But before Henry reaches the top, something happens to him. A cocoon starts to form around him. He tries to wiggle and squiggle his way free, but he can't move. If you have studied caterpillars before, you might know what is going on with Henry. Henry is stuck. His dream is going to get away. It is dark in his cocoon and warm. Henry can't help but fall asleep. But while he sleeps, something happens that is more amazing than any dream. Henry wakes and pokes his head out of the cocoon. He is riding the balloon high in the sky. Henry knows he should be scared, but he isn't. Henry has become a butterfly. He has wings, he can fly, he can go anywhere. You might have guessed that Henry the caterpillar was becoming a butterfly. So where does Henry go? Hmm, this looks like it has some signs of spring. I can see the ferns and the cattails on this pond. I see butterflies, I see green leaves and green grass. Home, the most amazing, incredible, and possibly possible place of all. 
Never stop chasing your dreams. That's the last page in our story. All right, I hope you were able to find some signs of spring in this caterpillar dream story. Leave a comment below with the ones that you found. I'll see you next time with another springtime book.